Good evening. My name is Bill Morris, and I'm the city councilman for Raleigh, Parks of Freight, and Cordova. Uh, first of all, Pastor Shields, thank you for opening your church and allowing us to come here tonight. And much what District Attorney Wyatt said, this is where the fight's going to be won. We can sit in the city hall and pass all the ordinances and curfews and everything you want us to pass. And we've tried it. All we do is put them in jail and they come right back out. We're not fixing the problem. And it's a problem. And it's a problem that extends beyond maybe what all of us see. I have a unique perspective. Not only am I your city councilman, I'm a school teacher. I teach seventh graders. It's a problem in middle school. It's a problem in elementary schools. And if you don't think it is, go to an elementary school and see what happens. So this is my challenge. Kevin has 60,000 gallons of paint. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I would challenge all of you to find six hours a month to go to a school, read to a classroom, set up to the student who's having trouble with math, show them that another way, show them that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you're it. Not asking you to commit a month, not asking you to commit a week, but the power of someone walking to a classroom. I'm a teacher. You can see it in their faces. You can see it in their faces. When someone comes in and says, I'm here to help you with math today. I'm here to help you read today. Or you know what? I'm here for you just to talk to me about what's going on. And we do that. That's how you win this battle. That's how you turn the tide. They were not born gamers. They didn't wake up one day and go, I'm going to join a gang. Something pushed them in that direction. We have to push back. Not with handcuffs. Not with bars. We have to push back with compassion, understanding, and a genuine love for their future. Future. These could be gang members. That's the fact of what it is. But I don't think that's going to happen. They have good leadership, strong foundation, and it starts now. So I challenge you, six hours a day, ten minutes, whatever you have, I promise you it will make a larger impact than you could ever imagine. Those kids can hear my voice all day long. Let Pastor Shields walk in, spend five minutes with one of them, totally different. Because it's not a paycheck. He's there because he really wants to be there. I am too, but they don't believe that because they're going to So that's just the way it works. <laughs> so I challenge you. And Pastor Shields, I hope they take you up on the offer. I hope this isn't the end. I hope this becomes maybe every three months, every four months. To come together to bring a better perspective. And this is a nice crowd. But if we start doing it, we will pack this place mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Yep. Yep. We will pack this place because I promise you, those that are screaming and hollering that they're gang members, we, the quiet minority, outweigh them and we can beat them with the heart. So thank you for being here. Look forward to working and partnering with you any way I can. And everyone again, Pastor Shields, thank you. And again, thank all of you for the challenge. Six hours. Give it to them. Thank you. Let's give Mr. Evan, uh, Ms. Evans, uh, Mr. Brooks, and Mr. Bill Morris a hand for us. We have a little answer here. We'd like to come up and share a word. You want to have to raise your hand with you? Move along. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm going to add something to the mix here. Um, Y'all might, I'm a former police officer in this area. I wrote this area for six years. I'm retired from the Memphis Police Department now. When I first came on the department, Mr. Isidore's son was killed. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, it's Neptune. And uh, it was gang violence. And at that time, it was, it was I'm not going to mention the gang names because you give them life when you give them names. Right? I'm not going to give them that, that latitude. But I want to impress upon you is 
me and my partners, we took time out of our day after our shift, or before our shift, to go down into New Chicago, in the Smoky City, grab some of the kids that were skipping school, and not take them to juvenile court, not take them to 201 properly. We took them to the basketball court, and we talked to them. We played games with them. We played, and we talked to them. And those kids that we talked to, I go back now, 25 years later, I can go back now, and those kids are doing well. So what Councilman has said to you, and, and the other panelists have said to you, is true. Just a little bit of influence makes a big difference. Uh, unfortunately, not one of my partners was killed, and it was it wasn't gang related. But because he was killed, they, we've established the foundation in his honor to go out and make a difference in kids' lives. And let me correct myself: not kids, they're not goats, they're children. And we got to remember that, like Bill Morrison said, these are our future. So if you pick one child, spend one hour a month. Multiply that by, by six, That's it. and you're going to make a big difference. That's something I wanted to add. It's from my heart. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, next we will have the Raleigh uh, Mixed Choir, Mr. Alvin Dyson, the director here. Okay, come on. 